Hello there and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode 8 in series on modular design and medieval buildings. And in this one we're going to be talking about a church, a monastery, and also uh, I'll give you a, a nice preview, I suppose, of what you can do with these kind of designs. I basically, I've taken... Well, actually, I'll, I'll get into it later. No point in, uh, in wasting it now. So yeah, this is our um, this is our basic church. It fits into a 16x16 16 16 plot. It's very simple design. It's quite uh, quite small on the inside, but it's it's nice. It's got all the essentials. Um, so yeah quite a useful design, quite a uh, pretty and simple design, um, so yeah, let's just get started with the tutorial. So yeah, as I said before, this fits into a 16x16 16 16 plot, I've put in uh, diamond blocks just to show the corners of the actual plot. Um, first thing we've done is built a cobble road along here, too wide as always, um, coming in. This is the, uh, I suppose, the relationship between the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the floor plan and the edges of the plot. Basically, on the inside, this is going to be 13 by 5. Um, I've laid out mine in flagstone, or I should say stone brick, and I've also put in some red wool carpet, though you can use whatever you want, wood or all stone brick or all carpet, whatever you want. Um, over here, we've put in a, uh, what's it called, half, half stone slab, um, just to simulate a threshold. So you can see, um, we've done the same here, this is going to be the entrance to the tower. This wooden block here is going to be the actual floor on the center of the inside of the spire. So um, yeah, you can see the kind of relationship between the two of them. So there's one, two, three, four blocks between them. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now, we'll move on to the next phase. Coming over here, you can see we've uh, we've laid out the foundations of the walls. Um, basically the way it's done is we've got stone brick, followed by three cobble, followed by stone brick again. Um, and that pattern is kind of repeated all along the way. Um, on the outside we've also put these extra blocks, these are going to be buttresses, um, you'll be able to see that better later on. Um, and that's pretty much it for the main portion of the chapel. For the, uh, for the tower itself, the corners are going to be stone brick, with the inside of the walls being cobble. We've also put on some small buttresses, um, and yeah, you'll be able to see those shortly. So yeah, here we've built up the walls, um, we've built these up to four total. And you can still see the pattern where it's uh, three cobble and then stone brick. Um, I've also knocked in some windows. And if you come in here, you can see we built up the tower to be five total so far. Um, so again, cobble in the inside of the walls and then stone brick on the corner. Coming over here, you can see the uh, the tower is still high, but still five high, I should say. But the uh, the top of the walls have all been uh, capped with stairs in their respective blocks, so cobble and stone brick stairs. Um, and this just kind of gives a nice rounded look at the end, which you'll see, and you have seen already actually, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this phase, I'll move on to the next one. Here you can see I've added in wooden cross beams, um, which they, they help to make the roof uh, look a bit prettier at the end. I've also added in the stone gables, so, you know, it's a kind of a upside down T made out of cobble. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Over here you can see we've done two things, first we've added the, the actual wooden roof, so two wooden stairs and then a... Uh, half wooden slab. We've also built up the tower, we finished off the stonework on it. Um, so from where we were, which was here, we've added on eight more blocks. We've also knocked in some small windows, as there's going to be a, a gold block representing a bell in here shortly. And pop, there it is. Um, basically all that's left to do now is add on some bricks for the buttresses, like so. And for this last portion, which is a steeple, I wanted to uh, show you it myself, because it, 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 I mean, you can get a pretty good idea from this, from uh, just seeing it, but I figured I'd play it safe and uh, just actually build it up. So, um, yeah, you can see we've placed a block on each of the corners, then in each of the actual walls we want to come up four. And... Come on. Um, and then, yeah, basically put a stair on top of each of these. Add in a wooden block and then come up one, two, three, four. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You can extend it up if you want. Um, but that's pretty much it for the church tutorial. I'll just go over the furnishings really quick. So yeah, here we are back at the inside. Um, very simple furnishings. They're literally just uh, wooden stairs. One thing which is kind of bad about this design is that because they're so close, you can't place a, uh, a sign on the end like you normally would when you're trying to make something that looks like a bench. Um, because if you place a sign here, Oops. Um, then you can't place one on this side. Um, coming up here, you can see we've got some half stone slabs and an enchanting table to represent the altar. 
so I feel very preachy. Um, what's nice about this kind of uh, design is that when the sun is setting or the sun is rising, if you're doing an authentic medieval building, the sun should really be rising, or sorry, the church should be facing the east, I should say. Um, but yeah, basically the sun, when it sets in this map, um, it'll just come here and you can see it straight through the window, it looks quite nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I've added a very, very small graveyard outside, um, literally just stone brick stairs and gravel, try and make it look nice. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'm going to move on to the monastery now. Alright, and here we are. Um, basically, what I did was copy pasted the, the church. Um, and what I've done is basically just extended it. So now instead of taking up one plot, it takes up three whole plots. So that gives a total area of 48 by 16. Um, you can see we've got a cloister immediately adjoining the church, which is uh, a 6 by 6 square. This building here is the dormitories which follows pretty much the same uh, design, I suppose, as my um, as my houses. So if you want to have a look at those, you can look at tutorial number two. Um, so same design, just slightly wider. In here we've got a refectory for you know dining and eating. Up here we've got the dorms. Um, very simple, I suppose. Coming back out, we walk through the cloister and back out into this open area. You can pretty much furnish this uh, however you like. I just kept it simple. So in here we've got a scriptorium with a, a nice big window for light. Um, then over here we've got the kitchens for you know preparing all the food for the monks. Out here we've got kind of a farming area. The thing about monasteries is that they're pretty self-sufficient. That's why you often find them out in the middle of nowhere. You know, center of a forest, top of a mountain. And they're pretty self-sufficient. So here they've got their own crops. They've got you know, a little sheep farm, maybe a, a shearer shack. There's three entrances to this. Oh, sorry, before I say that, I should say, um, this is kind of a, it was like a holy well design, maybe. Um, so it just looks like it's kind of a natural spring, but they've used it to irrigate the crops. So, um, yeah, there's three entrances to this monastery. There's a garden gate. There's, um, there's an entrance to the church. So this would be for the public. And then there's also this little door, which I kind of, uh, get out of there. Um, this would be for the monks to actually hand out like alms to the poor type thing. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we'll move on to our uh, our nice sneak peek. So yeah, basically what I wanted to do was um, show you how these designs actually work together. Because um, I talked about it a bit, but it, it doesn't really work too well when you can only hear about the theory rather than see it in the flesh. So um, these are the houses and farms from tutorial number 3 and windmill from number 4. Basically what I've done is I've taken these, I've made schematics, I've just planted them in. This is the in from tutorial number 5. I got lazy and copied this row of houses over there again. Um, so that's the in from tutorial number 5. That's the blacksmith from number 6. The church from number 8, which is this one. And um, that are more rows of houses. Um, here you can see we've got a single plot, one sec phone. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, basically, here you can see I've got a uh, an ordinary plot. But instead of putting in a second house, what I've done is just chucked a road in, and um, then we put in some of our fluff buildings. So here we've got a well, and here we've got a dovecot, um, which I haven't actually covered yet, but it's a very uh, common medieval building used for uh, allowing pigeons and doves and stuff to roost. Um, so yeah, but you can kind of you can get an idea of how this kind of design system, I suppose, helps to fit everything together. Um, so, you know, that's a pretty awesome looking town for about five minutes work, copy and pasting. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Next up, we've got a larger castle coming, so that's, uh, I think that's what a lot of people have been looking forward to. So, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it for now. But, uh, if you like this tutorial, if you like this series, please, uh, like and subscribe. And if you've got anything to say or anything you want to request or, uh, you know, whatever, just, uh, drop a line and leave a comment either on my channel or in my videos, um, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. I've been Mr. Archer MC, um, have a good day and goodbye.